Hello guys and welcome to show jumping in Ireland. It's currently drizzling rain. It was lashing rain. It's probably gonna lash rain again. And that's just what we have to deal with here. It's summer. <laughs> summer. Where is the sun? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just about to put Cal out in the field and then I will get back to you on what we are doing today. So Cal is out in the field now. He's been spending the last few days, nights in the stable and then he goes out on a kind of a paddock with not a lot of grass during the day because he's fat and he needs to get fit. And he has a huge grass belly, so <laughs> this is the solution. So today we are bringing Dali to Mullingar Equestrian to jump the 80 and the 90 centimeters. This will be his second show. So yeah, hoping it goes well. Hoping that he gained more confidence compared to last time, his first show. I'll leave a link here to that. Um, and yeah, just going out for a nice bit of confidence. Um, he's not really in any rush this year. We like don't really care what he does as long as he gets a bit of confidence and jumps a few courses. Like I don't have any like goals as to what height I want to get him to this year. I like whatever he ends up at, I'm happy. Um, Cal is not coming today because he is going to a show on Wednesday which I'm going to include in this vlog. So there's gonna be a two shows in one vlog kind of vlog. So yeah, it's exciting stuff. He's going to a show on Wednesday. It's a young horse class, but it's like, it's called like the Youngster Tour, but it's a bit smaller than the normal age classes, which is nice. Um, so for, he's six years old and the age classes are 125 to 130 and this one is 110. So you can see like the difference. Um, yeah, just because he hasn't competed like all year, <laughs> I don't know how, I would have had him at the like 130 level but anyway um i do hope he'll jump 130 by the end of the year but uh yeah again there's not really a lot, lot of rush on him so i'm gonna go and get dally now enough rambling and get him in and kind of groom him but he's like like soaking wet so i don't know this grooming job is gonna be very dodgy i'm sorry there is so much grass in this field so i had to like split it so they didn't eat it all at once but oh my god yeah there's a lot so it would be a little bit of a disaster if Cal went on that because he would have gotten even fatter. Whereas Dali, he doesn't need to be super fit. He's jumping the 90 centimeters, so that's okay. You're so cute. And everyone always wants to see beautiful Welbeck on the vlog. Hello, gorgeous. She is in foal. We scanned her again last week just to make sure everything was good. And the foal was flip flopping around. So delighted she is due at the start of next April. And Fiona over there got a heartbeat scan and there is a gorgeous heartbeat. Um, so she is due at the end of April. The daddy of this one is going to be a dignified Vant Zorgslet. And, oh, she's doing a wee, that's not very nice. But Fiona's um, so, like baby daddy is Tanglo Van de Zuhoff. So lovely. Maybe we'll get another foal like you, Dali. Nice, you're a big nice one. Good boy. So I have groomed Dali the best I can, even though he is like literally wet. But anyway, <laughs> you're mostly clean. That's the main thing. Um, so we're gonna load him up now in a minute and get going. Loads like a professional. Sleeping. Yeah. Having his morning nap. He said it's good for his beauty. Yeah. Got the course walked. That cloud doesn't that look good? Um, but hopefully it stays dry. Rub the pool of my jeans, honey. What pool? Rub it in my cotton. Look, he just told me to rub this, this poo is, on his jeans. This is. <laughs> This, this is great. Have to put up with. Oh, Dad, you're the shit. You look so cute, Danny. <laughs> look at you. Proper horse. Look at that.
good boy, Dally. It's literally definitely gonna rain. Wow. <laughs> Show jumping in summer. Delvina Flush. I'm standing out of the rain <laughs> in a shed video to hit this while Holly is out in the pouring rain. <laughs> That's a long distance. How do you see the fences? Uh, well done, Holly Dumps, Lumpy Dumps, and we're there for Holly Lennon and the Alvina Flush. Oh, seeking shelter. I'm educating you. Oh, poor Dali. <laughs> Look how, <laughs> Look how bad it here. is. Let's zoom past the camera. So we have all his boots on and we're ready to go home. Mr. Dally, champion of the day. Not a single pole touched. Doesn't he doesn't care less. Look at him, he's like, oh yeah. All the day's work, mate. <laughs> Treats. <laughs> Hello guys, we are on our way home. A very soggy Holly and a very soggy dad who wore shorts <laughs> for some <laughs> unknown reason. Because I didn't want to wear my trousers, I only want my legs. You didn't want to wear his trousers. And skin dries faster than fabric. It makes does. sense. It actually does. It's I know. Scientifically proven. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sweetie. Okay. So today was a bloody class day. It was so so good, despite the rain. So we jumped the 80 and the 90 on Dali. It's the second show, as I might have mentioned before. So in the 80, he jumped really well. Like he was very good, very rideable, very like easy. But like he wasn't, you know, like doing those extravagant jumps that he was last week. He was just just 
just jumping them normally basically um, but yeah he was still really good clear delighted and then we went into the 90 and I was kind of worried that he might be a bit tired it had then started lashing rain so I was like okay not holding out too much hope for this round and then he proceeded to jump bloody class like so good and um, the first four fences are a little bit wobbly because he basically okay in the warm-up the last vertical I jumped he jumped it like grand and then the last oxer I jumped he really over jumped and I was like okay that is a jump to go into the ring on because he is feeling very very good um, so then I went into the ring and he just stayed so careful and I was just riding him forward but it just it took me a few jumps to realize basically that I needed to put a little extra bit of leg on at takeoff and once I did that I had the time of my life every time I put leg on at takeoff he just went Woo! into the air I was like this is just brilliant oh it's so much fun the doubles were so good and um, yeah there was like a distance dog legs turn backs all sorts of things he was so rideable so listening to me oh it was brilliant he was so so good um, so yeah absolutely delighted two double clears and um, this this his second show and his first time going clear last week he had one down in each round and um, so yeah delighted next week we are going to cabin and he is going to jump the 80 and the 90 there um, I don't think I'm gonna jump him during the week again I didn't jump him all week this week I think he doesn't need a lot of jumping like the only things that he needs to improve on are like little rideability things you know start thinking about balancing the canter more so I can get better flying changes and that so that's all stuff I can work on without jumping so yeah I'm gonna save his little legs and yeah, we're gonna jump the 18 19 next week at Cabin, which will be his first proper big show. And there might even be a photographer there, and we might buy photos because this is a priority of my life. <laughs> um, so yeah, 10 out of 10 day, I would say. Dad, any last words? Definitely 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Just couldn't be better. Horse doesn't touch a ball. Excellent. By the way, for people who might not understand Irish language, lashing rain means copious amounts of rain and water coming from Isn't the sky. Isn't that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> lashing rain. Um, well, yeah, it's lashing into me. So, yeah, we got absolutely drenched. It was awful. But, um, yeah, didn't even notice it when I was going around my clear round. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're on our way home. And, yeah, poor Dally is going to get a nice little feed. And then, unfortunately, going to go out into the field, into this rain, because that's where he lives. So, he's well used to it, at least. Okay, so I'll see you when we get home. So Dali is home now. He has some feed in his in his bucket, but he's more interested in looking at the sights. Now he's eating it now. What a good boy, Dali. We're so proud of you. So that was just a schooling show. So there's no like placings or anything. We actually haven't registered Dali with SGI this year because there's only a few like shows I'll be going to with him, and it's not really like worth it really. Um. So yeah. That is him. Um, this is where I'm going to leave this part of the vlog. But the next time you see me will be on Wednesday when we are going to the show with Cal. So that show is a registered show. Cal is registered with Show Jumping Ireland. And it is a six-year-old class. And there's going to be a bit of a jump off and stuff if we go clear. So fingers crossed that goes well. We might go a little bit for the time and have some fun with it. What do you think, Mr. Cal? Dally? Um, so yes, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this this day. I hope Wednesday goes as well. Um, yeah, I'll see you then.